Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one stop location for your simulation news and goings on from the week that was. Alrighty, so we'll jump straight in. So this week we've got uh, rejoicing news for guys uh, who fly in X-Planes. So the V-Lite Air simulations, they've released their Cirrus SR20 for X-Plane 10. So this is now available for purchase either direct from V-Flight or from your favourite flight sim retailer. Now this one features a full glass uh, cockpit panel uh, modelled after the Cirrus Perspective G1000 unit. Uh, it completes all your high definition displays and a full multifunction display as well so you can go through and display all sorts of information including nearest uh, airports, uh, FMC data, uh, airports fixes, VORs, all that kind of fun stuff as well as some um, stuff that you might find very important to, to the aircraft as well including system aircraft information such as anti-ice and oxygen gauges because it uh, interestingly enough, it models an oxygen uh, an oxygen hypoxia model very, very well. So it actually goes through, if you've got uh, more than 12,000 feet, uh, 12,500 feet, it will actually model for hypoxia. So you do need to make sure you turn your oxygen on, otherwise you will find that you will pass out as a simulator pilot. So there you go. Uh, get uh, two, uh, so you get uh, ten liveries uh, included with this one, as well as your full uh, customized night lighting, HDR uh, night lights as well. So looking pretty damn f uh, amazing for this one as well. Interesting enough, uh, it's come out available with 4K textures, so uh, a very interesting uh, thing to go through. Which I didn't think the actual simulator was capable of displaying 4K textures, but there you go. Apparently it is, and it is uh, available on your Cirrus SR20 from V Flight Air Simulations. Alrighty, into other flight simulation news for the moving into the world of DCS. So, Digital Combat Simulator moves its L39C Albatross is uh, now available from. It's been available on their website for a little while now, and it is now available from their from the Steam store as well. Now, interesting this one. This is still technically in beta at the moment, uh, but it's obviously getting close enough to release that they've uh, decided to uh, release it, uh, make it available for everyone. And uh, something that's kind of cool as well is that you uh, buy the L39, you get the L39C now but then you also will get access to the uh, ZA so the um, light attack variant as well as a free upgrade for people who purchase the L39C so uh, not sure whether that's still going to be the case down the track once the ZA does make uh, does go live so if you are wanting to grab this for your DCS experience uh, my suggestion is probably consider getting it now because uh, it is uh, available and as an introductory offer on Steam it is available 20% uh, off at the moment as well so looking pretty damn awesome. Oh, by the way, uh, it will also require you to go for the upgrade your DCS version uh, to the 1.5 open beta as well. Uh, so the standard current release version is not compatible with the L39. You will need to upgrade to the open beta and watch out for a review of that coming from me very, very soon. Alright, in other simulation news as well, the guys over at Deep Silver and 16 Tons Entertainment have rebooted their emergency series once again. So, uh, these guys have been producing the emergency series for quite a number of years now. Uh, they released Emergency 5 uh, earlier in the year, or sorry, late, late, late last year, earlier this year. Uh, they've rebooted again uh, into and morphed it into Emergency 2016. So, this continues on the thing where you get to uh, simulate the being a commander of a, a rapid response response forces, uh, both uh, covering across for emergency, all the emergency services from fire, medical, police, counter-terrorism, all sorts of fun stuff as well. Um, it, it's uh, getting mixed reviews at the moment. Um, I, I was a big fan of the emergency 2013-2014 uh, um, sort of uh, series as well, so uh, interesting to see this one. Um, something I, I'm not kind of sure if I'm happy about it or not at the moment. Um, the 2016 is a full rebuy uh, for people who are, who haven't had uh, Emergency 5. Uh, Emergency 5 players, I honestly don't know whether you have an upgrade path to this one because essentially Emergency 2016 is a, is just a, a mission pack uh, that's been added on to Emergency 5. Uh, if you're a new purchaser like myself and didn't, hadn't purchased Emergency 5, uh, you did just you, know, you get that, you get both content included as well. Uh, a little bit disappointing, it, they didn't follow their traditional previous path where they allowed you to have access to content from the previous in the series as well because uh, that was something I really liked about um, 2012, 13, 14 was the fact that if you picked up 2014 then you got the 
12 and the missions from 12 and 13 as well, which is kind of cool, gave you a lot more replayability. Uh, but this one's doing that, uh, doing something a little different. So it gives you the the stuff from Emergency Five, not so much from 26 from uh, from the previous ones to that. Uh, so interesting to see. And as I said, look forward to a review of that one from me coming up very very soon as well. In the world of the permanent way, so those who simulate their train journeys, we've got uh, a new release from Dovetail Games. Uh, so this one uh, is, is the NJT LAL ALP 46 locomotive. Uh, so this one is uh, used by the New Jersey Transit, Transit guys and uh, can be used as fully compatible with the uh, New Jer North Jersey coastline as well. And it's got, got some scenarios specifically for that, uh, which you do need to have that as well. Um, we've got a full sort of, uh, you know, your full experience and use your quick drive and all that kind of fun stuff as well. Uh, very, very uh, striking liveries on it as well from uh, designer Cesar, uh, Cesar Vergara. So there you go. Um, Served on all sorts of uh, the NJ, uh, North, North Jersey uh, transit lines, uh, the responsibilities there as well. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, the scenarios that are included with it are included specifically uh, for the... Um, Northern Jersey, North Jersey coastline add-ons, so um, you do have to get them as well. But it is also fully compatible with Steam Workshop scenarios as well, which is nice to see and available for, for uh, your Train Simulator 2016. All right, in other simulation news as well. So staying with the trains for the moment. So uh, as well as that, Dovetail Games have uh, did a Twitch stream uh, during the week uh, where they uh, announced their North London line route uh, map ha has been released and uh, the developers gave a quick preview of some of the things that you would expect on the North Line um the North Line route when it is released. Uh, they haven't uploaded it to their YouTube channel yet, so if you did miss the Twitch stream, you do have to wait a little bit before we get to see it, but uh, hopefully that will be available soon and you'll be able to watch that and uh, get excited and salivate over the route. But in the meantime, you can enjoy this beautiful picture of the route uh, plans that they've got going at the moment. All right, moving on to the fast and the racetrack now. So uh, this is actually something I forgot from the previous week. So uh, I did miss this one in the last week's uh, Nova Wrap. So uh, this was the Assetto Corsa Dream Pack 2 has been released. So uh, this is for the uh, racing simulation title Assetto Corsa. So Assetto, this is uh, gives you uh, quite a few new cars. In fact, this one gives you nine new vehicles. So it gives you uh, all sorts of uh, you know, high speed and face fast stuff as well, as well as giving you... Uh, the new circuit, the circuit at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. Uh, so just outside Barcelona in Catalonia in Spain. So looking pretty cool. Uh, looks amazing. It's uh, almost uh, almost five kilometers long, this one. So uh, yeah, it's going to be something to test your skills uh, with a variety of corners and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a nice all-round circuit, as they describe it there. And it gives you the whole, all new vehicles to go as well for your excitement and racing pleasure. This is also available on Steam now. All right, folks, and rounding out the news for this week, so uh, the guys over at Orbix, and we've got a whole slew of new uh, updates for installers and stuff as the P3D version 3 juggernaut does continue. So uh, for those who do have invested in P3D version 3, more and more of your products uh, are becoming more available for the... Uh, new platform from Lockheed Martin, so keep an eye out there for your favourite one. Don't forget to check your favourite retailer, uh, the retailer where you've purchased your product, and make sure to see if they've released a installer for your product now. All right, folks, uh, and uh, oh, well, sorry, almost forgot. There is one final release for this week. So from the, uh, as you probably have seen on many episodes before, uh, I uh, always support a couple of free, a couple of really good quality freeware developers. So uh, Robert James Richardson has released a, a new product as well. So he's released the Hawker 800. So uh, you may know that I reviewed the Payware Hawker 850 uh, from Carinado a little while ago and had an absolute blast with it. And uh, this is the predecessor to that. So this is the sort of Hawker Beechcraft uh, first uh, explorations into the whole business jet world was Hawk 800 uh, based uh, on the earlier de Havilland uh, DH125 so this is a, a great piece of freeware uh, fairly very basic cockpit but still looks pretty damn nice on the on the X on the outside and if you're not wanting to go for a payware one this is a great one for you to go to and as, as I said Robert James Richardson is a great freeware developer to support so this is available now from his website I'll pop the link in the, down below for for us all. All right, folks, well, that wraps up the news for the simulation world this week. Thanks very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these videos and want to see more. And as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search Noboing24.
All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.